Mr. Martinez votes now. Have you all voted? Mr. Clark. Speaker Pro Tem, I rise to explain my vote. Please proceed. Members, democracy is weakened when the government undermines the rights of the people to redress their government. I'm glad we had a conversation about the 1914 initiative, and I'm glad I've had an opportunity to put it in context over what was commented on before. What's interesting, if you look at the publicity pamphlet from 1914, you see that the arguments for were very similar to they are today. They said, quote, the legislature will not be allowed to repeal or amend any initiative or referendum measure passed on by the people. That actually was put forward by the Arizona State Federation of Labor. The opposition, which we heard read earlier, did not want to see that enacted, uh, was brought forward by a uh, National Bank of Arizona, uh, the gentleman H.H. H. Wilson from the National Bank of Arizona. Um, Interestingly enough, if you look at the context of this, you will see that those in favor actually fail to understand the difference between a majority vote of qualified electorate versus a majority of vote of those voting. And it's evidenced by the fact that in um, 1954, there was the case of uh, Adams v. Bolin in which that question was raised. So put into context, it's very similar to what it is today. Um, because this has not ever left us, and it hasn't left us because the people assume that they have a right to have a check on our power, and that's the way it should be. Now, the VPA, having been changed in uh, 1998, the Voter Protection Act, um, came about because people were dissatisfied with what happened in 1914 and then upheld in 1954 in, a, in the court. Um, and they are even now support the concept of the Voter Protection Act. If you look at the polling that was just released today by public policy polling under a question, do you think we should keep Arizona Voter Protection Act, which prevents politicians from tampering with laws created by the voters through citizen initiative ballot measures, or do you think we should get rid of it? 83%, re regardless of party, said that they are in support of that. If they then asked, uh, if your state senator or representative wanted to get rid of the Voter Protection Act, would that make you more or less likely to vote for them, or would it make a difference? Less likely to vote for them, 73%. The folks want this. Now, I don't have to talk about necessarily Prop 206 or any of the other things that have gone through, but I understand that there have been unintended consequences. And rather than... Um, Rather than addressing those unintended consequences directly with the voters, uh, as adults, speaking to the voters as adults, we continue to try and find ways to undermine the Voter Protection Act. Were we to treat them like adults, we would go to them and say, hey, listen, we have a problem here. This three-quarter vote that we need to make changes is a little too onerous for us. Let's go to 60%. Let's work with you as the citizens you, re you deserve to be respected as. But we don't do that. And I have a prediction for the press who's still here tonight that if this gets on the ballot, if this gets on the ballot, the Arizona Chamber and APS and some of the other folks, the Chamber, by the way, which is dominated by companies that are not from Arizona, the reason I'm a member of Local First Arizona and not the Chamber, um, they, I believe that they will probably go out and mislead the public on this same issue. They will say to the public, hey, you can overturn whatever the legislature does, uh, or you can prevent them from, from overturning what you'd want with, uh, with a majority of voters, knowing that people will not understand the difference between majority of, el of, rep of uh, eligible voters or uh, registered voters versus those who just voted in the election, just as they did in 1914. That is a confusion that will exist, and I believe that they will probably take advantage of it. And I think that they know that they can fool some of the people some of the time enough to get that on the ballot and get it through. And I think that goes back to what I said at the beginning. Our democracy is weakened when the government undermines the right of the people to redress, redress their government. And every seconds. action has a reaction in politics. That's what I want to avoid. Let's find a way to actually fix the problem we were originally talking about, the, the fallout 
of the VPA rather than eliminating the VPA because I think the consequences are not what we would expect them to be and vote no. Mr. Clark votes no. Way of explaining my vote, members.